hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's ninth avenue in class again today how have you been we are going to show you how you can use your digital elevation model to generate contours of um, of an area let's say the location where okay let's say the location whose them you have right good so you've actually downloaded it them or let's say you have it them and you want to what um, create or maybe generate contour for that particular them of the area so we are going to show you how you can do just that and we are also going to show you how you can smoothen those um, contour lines because by the time we proceed you're going to see that when the contours are generated the lines will be having some edges um, some sharp edges that needs to be smoothened right so we are going to do all of those on this video so thanks for coming to class if you're coming to the channel for the first time you can encourage us by subscribing and if you're returning you are thanks for always um, checking up on us so the first thing is that um, let's um, assess our what our them data right good so we go to layer we go to add layer and then we go to what add raster layer good on the um, data source manager right browse all right so we already have um, videos on the channel let's say a video on the channel right good we have shown you how you can download your them so we downloaded them them for um, an area but it was actually having more than one sheet and we've actually merged the them However, on this video, we are going to use just one of the sheets. So let's say we are using a um, sheet three. So we just open that. Then we add and then close. Good. So we have what we have at them. You can actually work on the symbology, but that's not on today's video. So you come to raster, you go to what extraction, and then you come to contour. Now, it's also very important to note that for you to generate them um, contours or for you to design contours on them, QGIS, there are different approaches, or so let's say there are different, yeah, there are different approaches. Now, on the channel as well, we still have another video where I've shown you how you can what, how you can generate contours on QGIS. However, we are using point data, right? Good. We are using point data, and it was still within this location, right? We are using point data within this location. But on today's video, we are using a raster data, which in this situation, let's say it's a them, right? Good. So that's why we are using this particular method to, what, to generate what the contour. So when you check out those other videos, you would see that we did not use what this um, extraction tool on, on raster, right? Good. So you click on contour. All right. We have what the, the contour window open. We have what our input sheet, which actually what a raster data. Then the band number, then the interval. Now the interval depends on the specification and then maybe the area you're working on. If you're working on a very large area and you don't want to spend longer time, you can just increase what your interval. And if your area is um, relatively small, you can actually what use um, smaller what you call it intervals. And depending on the specification, actually. Given. However, let's try what 50 meters um, contour interval. At, at some point it might be scanty at some point it might just be so much so depending on what so let's just make it 30 right good let's make it 30 then we don't have any other stuff by default to correct or maybe you have to update so we just go to what the outputs for the output we can what decide to save to file right good instead of having as a temporary file so you click on what save to file all right we are working on a folder called what um contours from them so let's just call this um, contours and then we are using what 30 meters right so we have what 30 meters um, interval so you can save as um, different formats you want we however are using what um, shp right good so we use that shp then we click on save so with all of those other options well checked we can just what run Good. We have what um, algorithm contour finished. The process has been executed and successfully, so we can close that. Good. So we have what we have our contours here, right? Good. And then we have our them, right? Good. Now you can see how much of the contours we have, and um, that actually depends on depended on yeah 
the interval we've actually what created right good and the nature of the terrain is actually very fine now let's um, look at the, the smoothing of what the the edges of the contour or let's say of the contour lines so let's try to zoom in to um, just a few of them to see those um, those edges that um, actually talked about earlier and how we are going to what, work on them right good so you can see that um, these are actually contours let's say contour lines and you can see how sharp these edges are right good they are not actually well presented so the next part of the video as we proceed we are going to show you how you can what, smoothen these what, these edges so you go to what your processing toolbox if you can't find it there you come to processing and then you see what toolbox here right good then you come on the search and then you type what smooth right good it was actually used recently so type smooth is actually what on that vector geometry so you just click on it good now this algorithm smooths the geometries in a line or polygon layer it creates a new layer with the same feature so this is actually um, a description of what the um, the algorithm does right good and what we are trying to smooth in is actually the same um, contour underscore 30 meter that's um, the 30 meter interval contours of created right good now the iteration according to the instruction let's say the description rather um, is a parameter that um, dictates how many smoothing iterations will be applied so let's say we want to apply five or so let's just make that five and then the offsets and the maximum node angle to smooth let's um, leave that as default right good so we can decide to save this word to a file or we can still leave it what as a temporary layer or maybe save it to any other what other files that we want however let's just um, leave it as temporary layer because we can always what save it later right so let's now run that's the progress right good good we have actually completed what that algorithm can close this then we go back to our layers then we can now compare good. we can now compare so let's change this um, color to something else so that we can have what a distinction right so instead of this um, same very light color let's make this um, reddish or something so that it can be loud for us to see right good so apply and then okay perfect you can now see the difference between the two layers right good you can see the difference between what the two layers this is fairly smoothing compared to what the first what the first um, contour lines we have right good so this is how you actually generate contours look at this one this is how you actually generate contours from your digital elevation model and how you actually want smoothing it as well right good so with this now you can see that um, it's more presentable as um, a console maybe it has console lines right so you can still decide to what save this as scratch layer just um, click on that icon Then you save the scratch layer maybe as a shape file to that particular folder you're working on or maybe you can just let's just do that good so let's say contour 30 meter smooth right good yeah fairly smooth just click on save okay right good that's the progress All right, so we've actually saved what we actually saved the smoothing, yeah, smoothing the console layer, right? Good. So that's um, how you generate contours from your digital elevation model, and that's how you would you smoothen it, and how you save your respective layers, right? Good. So you can still decide to display the elevations. Let's come to properties and see how that goes. So we go to what we go to labels, then we use what single labels, right? 
then the value we need is actually what our elevation let's change this to times new number let's make it vitalized and then let's let's leave that this let's leave it at this as well then the placement let's put it on the line not above the line and not below the line as well right good let's put it on the line you can decide to check out these other modes on how you can place what the contour the contour values right good so let's just work with these and few modifications apply and then let's see how that goes good so this is how it appears right so you can actually what work on how the, the values are appearing and then you know displaying or let's say yeah the labels and you can modify it towards to your taste or maybe to the specification required so thanks for coming to class we hope we've provided a um, solution to this particular surveying or gis or remote sensing related problem we are going to see you on the subsequent video until then you can encourage us by subscribing yeah supporting the channel very important you can share with your friends and you know keep staying safe and we'll see you very soon bye